Hey everybody, Scott Sprint. So here at DocSports.com, it is Tuesday, April 30th. We wrap up the month of April today and we'll get to our free pick in baseball plus a little NFL talk and NBA all coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if, you're, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a run. All you gotta do is click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account. You start by clicking on the link below the video to get set up and it's a good day to do it because I've got a seven unit play in the NBA going on Tuesday night. Uh, we cashed a six unit play last night with the 76ers nice outright underdog winner and we're now on a 30 and 15 67% NBA run. We're up about $4,500 for $100 per unit betters. Seven unit play on Tuesday. It'll be available Tuesday morning DocSports.com. We'll look to extend the run to 31 and 15 and you know my main events are as big as they get for me outside of a game of the year. Seven unit play going on Tuesday's card in the NBA DocSports.com also at the site I'm going to have a couple of baseball plays for Tuesday. We're perfect since Saturday on the bases. We won again yesterday. A nice underdog winner with the St. Louis Cardinals. They doubled up on uh, Cincy by a final score of, excuse me, on Washington. Not Cincy. They doubled up on Washington 6-3 to three and got the underdog win for us. And as far as the NHL, we won a six unit on Sunday. We passed last night's game between the Blues and the Stars. Back in action on Tuesday. Just didn't like last night's side or total, but we are back in action on Tuesday as we look to extend the winning run in the NHL playoffs. It's all available Tuesday morning over at DocSports.com. Let's get back to our NFL thumbnail sketches where we've already done the AFC West uh, so far in this particular division. We've done the New England Patriots. Today, the Buffalo Bills over under wins total six. Listen, as far as the draft was concerned for Buffalo, not bad. I mean, listen, anytime you get Ed Oliver from Houston to fall into your lap, to fall down that far and end up with your choice to be able to draft him, and you do so, you made a good choice, and you were fortunate to have him fall down into your lap if you're the Buffalo Bills. And he's a great defensive tackle. I think he's going to have a fantastic career and be probably uh, an immediate improvement and upgrade and significant one for the Buffalo Bills. They also got Cody Ford. Not bad for an offensive lineman. They need help up front. But my gosh, Josh Allen's got to get some targets and they don't go after any top-notch wide receivers with any proven ability behind them. And that's a disappointment if you're a Buffalo Bills fan. So you're thrilled to get a guy like Ed Oliver. Not so happy that they didn't get some targets for Josh Allen. And here's the thing going into this year. Josh Allen was horrible. His completion rate, as you know, last season, uh, his off target rate was at the bottom of the league. Just horrendous. Like 22% of his passes were off target. It's not going to cut it even after, you know, for the most part, finding out that the guy is pretty sharp between the years at the NFL level. He can pull it down and run with the football, but you don't get to the playoffs or win playoff games, I should say, when you're running the football and being so bad or inaccurate with your passing game. So, that's a situation they've got to address. Eventually get this guy some receivers. Listen, he, he gets under pressure, and the offensive line is going to have to build up also. The defense is going to be fine. Once again, we like this defense of the Buffalo Bills. We just think the offense is going to struggle again. Over under wins total six. They play one of the easier schedules in all of the NFL in the upcoming 2019 campaign. And I really do believe that the over of six wins is going to come down to week 17, home game, last game of the year against the New York Jets. I really have it mapped out to where if they win that game in week 17, they end up with seven wins. If they lose, they end up with six wins. That's how close I think this team is to a six or seven win season. Maybe with some luck, they finish 500, get to eight wins. But again, I'm just not crazy about Josh Allen tossing the football without, without having really good wide receivers to throw the football to. And I mean more than one or two. You need at least three guys who can get out there and catch the ball. So we're right around the wins total again we think they're going to be right around six or seven wins. We'll lean towards the over with the Buffalo Bills. Next up, our next thumbnail sketch will be on the Miami Dolphins on tomorrow's video. As far as our free pick for Tuesday, we're going to turn to baseball. We're going to recommend a runs line play. The Tampa Bay Rays lay in a big price, about a buck 85 as we speak. It'll be Snell over Judas. And here's the thing about Tampa Bay. Everything they do well, Kansas City does poorly. You look at their bullpen, much better than what KC's got. Run scoring ability, much better than what KC's doing. Starting pitching, Love Snell over Junis in this particular spot. And if you look at what Casey's done so 
far against left-handers this year. You know, they've only had four, I think it's four games at home against Southpaws. It's been weak as far as the run scoring ability. I think Tampa Bay wins by two runs or more. I really don't want to lay or recommend laying a price of a buck 85, buck 90. Maybe by the time you watch this, even higher on the money line. So we're going to recommend the Rays on the runs line, lay the run and a half with Snell over Junis and the Royals. Again, don't forget what's going on Tuesday at DocSports.com. We've got the seven unit play in the NBA. We look to cash again and go to 31 and 15 in the NBA. We've got two baseball plays, one from the NHL. Grab it all on Tuesday morning, DocSports.com. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us for Tuesday. When we see you again, it'll be May 1st. And by the way, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here on Wednesday, about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column.